Hi and welcome to this tutorial on colour grading using the Lumetri tools in Premiere Pro. Um, you should have on Blackboard a, um, a folder full of bits and pieces that you should, you're going to use for this tutorial. So make sure you download all of that stuff first. And basically you'll have something that looks something similar to this. There's a Premiere project set up called Colour Grading Tutorial 01. Um, there's a PDF of the instructions and then there's a folder here with a couple of shots in that we're actually going to grade. So open up the um, open up the Premiere project is the first step. And there it is. You can see it's two simple shots, a kitchen two shots and a, a close up. So there's two shots there and this is straight out of the camera. So obviously it needs a little work doing. So you might notice that this layout is a little bit different to what you use, used to using uh, and that's simply because I've just chosen a different workspace here. Along the top of Premiere there's different workspaces, you've got an editing one, an assembly one, a colour one and then the one I'm using for this tutorial. So generally you'll do your grading in the colour tab. One thing I need you to do is to make sure that in this top left hand uh, tab here, it might be on effect controls, you need to click on Lumetri scopes and there we'll get the three scopes that are going to, that can help with us visualising the kind of changes that need to be made. So over on the, um, on the top left there is the waveform. And this one, this one tends to be used for exposure changes. You've got the vector scope here, which is saturation. So the further it is out to the edge, the more saturated it is. And then we've got this um, RGB parade that lets you look at individual color channels. In the lecture, we have looked a bit at color channels and what these three areas mean. But basically any color of any pixel is made up of one of the, uh, of a combination of these three elements, um, hue, saturation and and lightness or luma and this is where we control those so you can see here there's a scale down the side uh, down the left hand side of the waveform and this is the first thing we're going to look at um, when we do our grade because you can see it's all pretty low down which means everything's in the dark so there isn't a wide color range so we need to do initial work on exposure and then we can look at the other two things afterwards. So what I'm going to suggest, the method I'm going to use is that we use adjustment layers because these mean that you can go back and easily change stuff and you can see the adjustments that you've made. So if we go here and click into the project panel, you can see we've got the kitchen close up and the kitchen two shot. There are two shots. And then there's the project called color grading, which is the one that's on the timeline. If you right click in here, and go new item adjustment layer and just okay that so you can see it's added an adjustment layer here and we're just going to drag this over onto uh, the timeline stretch it out and we want this to fit over exactly over the first clip so there you go you can if you want to see these a bit sharper you can sort of bring those up so you can see our adjustment layer is now above the kitchen two shot um, clip can make these a bit bigger as well. Uh, let's get that to fit. Now we're going to do put all our colour grading into this adjustment layer and what that means is that everything below the adjustment layer is going to get affected. So with the adjustment layer selected that's really important we're now working on this layer and you can see over here in the Lumetri colour panel that we've got various tabs and various things that you can um, you can click around and you can look through these if you click on one it'll open up. We're going to concentrate for now on the basic correction and the first thing we're going to look at is correcting the, the overall kind of brightness, the exposure of the image and that's our first kind of port of call. Uh, on the PDF, you'll see, there are some brief instructions about what all these things down here do, all these different controls and tools. And basically, what we want to try and do is to make our Luma waveform cover a bit more, go up to 100 and down to zero. So somewhere you need your colour space to be between zero and 100. So if you now start to play with some of these controls, you can see that if I turn the blacks right down, 
it sends a lot of this waveform disappearing into the zero and the image goes considerably darker. So what we want to do is adjust this down so it's just hovering somewhere above zero. And then the same is opposite, you do the opposite for the white, you want that to go up and you can see the image getting brighter and this goes up a bit more. Then we've got other controls here that can help. And basically this, this part of the grade is lots of kind of trying different things, experimenting, um, messing around with contrast um, and exposure to get an image that kind of has a good range on this. So, like I say, peaking at 100, so we've got a little dot here at 100, and bottoming out somewhere just above zero. Okay, you can also see that our saturation has moved up. So if you wanted to play with saturation, you can see the effect it has on that image. Um, and also look at the RGB waves, how they change when you increase or decrease saturation. And oh, last thing we want to, uh, another thing we want to look at is the colour temperature. And we've got this handy little dropper here called the white balance selector. Select that and look for an, uh, an area in your image that's supposed to read as white. So I'll try and I'll choose this kettle, I think. And you can see that. In selecting that as white, our temperature and tint sliders have changed slightly. Um, again, you can fine tune, tweak this, you know, if I push it towards green, you can see what happens there. Uh, if I push it towards blue, you can see what happens there and push it towards orange and it gets considerably warmer. Um, if you double click these, they'll reset. I can repick my white balance tool and there. So I think pretty good to go it didn't make any adjustment that time let's try a different spot uh, and again this is a matter of trial and error if we choose the tea towel it has a slightly different effect on it so a lot of this is playing it by ear there's no scientific this is the right way to uh, you know to white balance but so long as you you're happy um, with your adjustments then you're good to go what you can do is then check your adjustments by clicking this little thing on and off here and this tells you this shows you what the original footage was like and what it's like with the, the Lumetri color applied to it so we've basically we've kind of balanced that image out a bit it's looking not too bad on the scopes and pretty nice to look at the next step is to then use another adjustment layer to go onto this close-up now, because these two pieces of footage are fairly similar, I'm going to use our previous grade to help with this grade. So click on the adjustment layer that you've just done, press down Alt and just drag it across and that'll give you an exact duplicate uh, of your layer, trim to fit. And you can see that's a reasonably pleasing looking image. So I'm not going to adjust that, but you could, uh, if you wanted to, make some adjustments. One good way you can look at a comparison is to click out of the basic correction and go to the colour wheels and match. Make sure your mouse pointer's over the second shot and hit comparison view. And you can see they look reasonably well sort of balanced. They look like they were shot on the same day under the same kind of lighting conditions. So... If you want to make adjustments now, you can do that. If not, click out of comparison view and there we go. They're good to go. So you've got these two adjustment layers now, which are balancing out the image. So that's the color correction part done. Next now is to do the color grade. And this is where you start to look at what would you like creatively from your grade. So let's take the, another adjustment layer and put it on top and then stretch this out for the whole clip. Make sure this adjustment layer is uh, selected. And now we're gonna go in here and, and make some adjustments here and apply a grade. Now you'll notice this, because this adjustment layer goes over both clips, everything underneath will be affected. So whatever we change on the adjustment layer at the top is gonna change everything down below. So I'm gonna hit the creative one. And you can see there's various sliders here. 
there's a little drop down menu here called look and this has got a big long list of different looks that you can get for your for your footage these uh, these lots you can use I generally would use them as a starting point. So pick one that you think's in the right ballpark and then you can go in and start to tweak and make different adjustments there. So uh, let's try a bleach bleach one, uh, that's a bit harsh. Um, there's day for night, yeah, that's not too bad. Um, there's various different ones. Um, the one I'm gonna go for is called Blue Ice. Um, Okay, so you can see that now is there's a lot of cyan uh, around this image, probably a little bit too much um, cyan. So we need to go now and make further adjustments to, to get this looking good. So first off is this intensity slider. And if I slide that to the left all the way, you'll see that it's the original footage. And if I slide it all the way right, it goes much more bluey greeny. So it's much more dependent on the look. So I'm gonna bring that down um, a little bit faded film have a look at that it sort of fades out the image a little bit so the blacks are not so black you can sharpen your footage here just be careful with sharpen uh, don't go too heavy-handed vibrance again um, you can play with the buttons and kind of see what it does it affects the color in certain ways and saturation as you know will go to either no color or very saturated color um, and I'm going to leave that roughly where it is. Go back to basic. Let's just check against our other, other footage. So you can see that both of those uh, do match. Not the best grade in the wor world. But really, when it comes to this part of the grade, it's a matter of your personal taste. So I would now spend time making different adjustments, go through these again. You know, you can play with the temperature here if you want it to, to get it a, a much colder looking image, or you can warm it right up here. Um, and the same with the, the tint, you know, you can have, have various effects. If I just double click them to reset them, you can take the exposure down. Um, we will look at another day at how to just in, look at individual channels. But for now, I just want us to get used to the basics. So. Let's have a look here. Let's darken this down a little bit. Uh, let's increase contrast. And basically, yeah, yeah, I'm just sort of experimenting till I feel like this is how I'd want it to look. So this looks a, a bit, so the blacks here are a bit dark. I might brighten up the blacks a little bit. And the shadows, let's get the mid-tones right. Um, so let's say I'm happy with that grade. Like I say, you need to spend time doing this. So it can come out of the basic correction. And then I think the last thing I'll do for this particular couple of shots is I'm gonna add a vignette to it. And, and this is just another thing you can add later on if you like it. Again, I would suggest playing around with the sliders. If I try the amount, you can see it sort of puts a black sort of edge around it, faded black edge. Midpoint, you can see the effects at this size if you play with the slider, okay? And again, it's up to you to decide what's right for your look. If you use the little check boxes here, you can see the difference that vignette's making. Let's see what it looks like on the close-up. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. Pretty happy with that. So that's gonna be my grade for this one. This video is just a quick sort of go through what is contained on the PDF on the on the tutorial? Um, so yeah, there is a sim the simple basics of color grading and color correcting using Adobe Premiere's Lumetri tools.